Hey guys, what's going on? This is Cheney180, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Netflix series Electra figure. I just got this thing in today. Um, yeah, uh, it's okay, I guess. I don't usually review, review movie figures or TV show figures in this instance, but uh, yeah, just thought I might as well for this one. As you can see, pretty much from this down is pretty much the same as Mary Jane. I think the shoes might be different, possibly. We'll get into a little bit of a comparison later there. <clears throat> but uh, let's go ahead and get into accessories here. So she comes with two sides. This uh, mast head here, which as you can see, they've uh, continued to do the digital face scan on it. And we've got decent paint apps within the hair, decent sculpt there. Now it looks like we've got a new top torso piece. And for some reason we've got these like really bulky forearms. I don't know what's up with that. We got just like very, very bulky forearms. It's almost it's almost Popeye-ish if you ask me. But you also get a uh, unmasked head here. I think they may have gone a little bit crazy on the gloss. And paint apps could have probably been better. Looks like she's kind of suffering from that uh, horrible X-Men movie, Dark Phoenix, Black Eye thing. But, I mean, the sculpt's pretty decent. It's just they got real sloppy with the, the gloss there. So it looks like she's like crying or even real sweaty, possibly. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the size here. Not too special. I mean, you've got a decent sculpt there. Uh, we went with just the, you know, normal plastic. They're not very tight, so, you know, there is that. And just a little bit of black paint on there, and it's all the same plastic. So, yeah, like I said, it was, you know, we're pretty much just Mary Jane body. Um, I think possibly the same uh, arms as Mary Jane right there. But we do get this new top torso, new headpiece. Got one hell of a gap back there on the neck. <clears throat> and then we get these new hands as well, as you can see here. So let's get into articulation on this figure. Uh, the head can look up fairly decent. So that's definitely a good thing. You, know, you can have her hun hunching over and I mean she can look up. But you're going to want to be careful because I already, this ponytail piece already came off on mine. So I went ahead and glued that back on. But yeah it already came off. And then, you know, you got some of that bobblehead action. You know, head goes from that way. Hair really doesn't prohibit it whatsoever. I mean, you can get her in. Even, you know, it's going to fight a little bit there, looking up. But you could probably finagle it and make it work. <clears throat> so you got that hinge in there with a ball peg. And I'll go ahead and swap out the heads here. Hopefully this ponytail doesn't fall off again. So there's what she looks like without the mask on her face. So we've got our standard shoulder hinge here. It goes up about that far. Swivels all the way around. We've got a elbow swivel in there with a hinge. And these just beefy forearms. You've got a hinge in the wrist with a swivel in here, so you can kind of get that hand to do whatever you like. For the most part, the little cuff for the glove doesn't prohibit movement. And then, same with this one. Although it looks like we've uh, lost a little paint there on the hand. So there is that. <clears throat> now the torso goes back about that far and forward about that far but you do get some gapping right here but due to the fact that it's an all black figure you're not really going to notice it that much so that is a good thing uh, no waist swivel <clears throat> leg goes up about that far 
back about that far and she can get almost a split so that's pretty decent we got upper thigh swivel double hinge knee which is very tight you've got a uh, ankle pivot and a hinge and let's see how she stands up next to the other previous Electra that we have. So this is an old crappy crappy Hasbro one. The only comic version one that we technically have. So obviously this one looks better. Um, but it's not comic accurate. Well, it may be comic accurate now because they think she's using this kind of costume in the comics. I may be wrong. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment and let me know. And then we have Mary Jane. Let me straighten that out. And as you see, they should be about the same size. And it looks... Okay, yeah, the feet are different. I wasn't sure. Um, yeah, so if you want to get rid of these bulky forearms, you know, you could probably swap it out for this or, uh, you know, almost any other Marvel Legend female figure. So that about wraps it up, guys. Thanks for watching. Feel free to click like, click subscribe, share, and with that being said, take it easy. That's crispy.